how to achieve double exposure effects like this in canva go on to canva upload your image you want to use for this i'll be using this image and then remove the background if you don't have remove the background feature you can use remove.bg to remove background and then upload it back so i'm just going to increase the size of this image till it fits what i want to use Once I'm done, I'm going to click on edit and then make some adjustments. First, I'll go to filters and then choose any of the filter. What I'm going for is a monochrome effect. So let's see this poster filter. Let's try this. Oh, this is too bright. I don't like how this looks. So let's go back to the poster filter. Then I'll just adjust the intensity. Then I will go on to adjustments, fix the brightness, the saturation and all of that till I get my perfect result. Next, we're going to go to element and add a gradient. So go to element and then search for gradient. So click on graphics and then pick the transparent option, which is the white option. Let's go for this. No, this is too bright. Let's go for this. Then I'll click see all to see more results. Let's work with this. Yes, this is perfect. I'll change this color to white. Then I would rotate it like this and begin to fill the portion I want to fade out. So I want my image to be at the center of the head like this. So this is why I'm feeding it. So you keep on duplicating till that portion is faded out completely. Once you are done, I would just add my image I want to use, which is the image I want to reflect. So I'm using this image. Then I'll position it to where I want it to be. Let's move this down a bit because I want our eyes to also show. So this looks perfect. Let's duplicate the page. Then I will delete this and then download this page to only the page to. Once I download it, I will now re-upload it back to my design. So let's create another page. And then this image here, I will copy it and then paste it onto the new page I just created. Just like this. So next thing I want to do is to fade out the background. So let's exit this part. So this gradient we used before, I will just copy and paste it here and then begin to fade out the sides. You can see the sharp sides. So I will just be duplicating my gradient till the side is faded out. You can see that everything is faded out and it's well blended. And I will do so for this part of it, but I'll flip it vertically like this. And then duplicate it again, begin to fill it till it is faded out. So I think this looks good. Now let's duplicate another option and put at the top part. So I'll just rotate this one. I hope you are getting this process. You could always pause and come back. 
so i think this looks good now we are going to download this page three yes perfect so let's download page three only so we'll download only page three and then upload it back to our design we'll add a new page remember this image we first downloaded now it's time to upload it back Then I'll just make it fill the screen like this and then upload this image we just downloaded. Make it fill the screen too. And then go to transparency, reduce the transparency. You can see that it is already coming together nicely. So this works perfectly you can see how it is now so let's move this back i think i want to move this forward a bit like this yes this works perfectly now we're going to download page four only page four i'm increasing the download quality so that it is not reduced add a new page again upload our page four we just downloaded and what I want to basically do here is to first off, you know, remove the background. So I'll just go on to edit, click adjust, and then basically adjust it. I reduce the saturation. I basically just want to make this darker and have the monochrome effect. So if you're fine with your result without having to do all of this edits, it's also fine. So I'll just go to adjustment again. I think I want to do more here. If you have any questions, please ask in the comment section. And if you've gotten to this point, please subscribe. So you could choose to leave it without the background or remove the background. It's all up to you. But this is the result that we have. Let me know your thoughts on this. Is this something you'll try out? Let me know in the comments. See you in my next video. Toodles.